Okay, so let's uh, have a look at recreating our own Space Invaders style logo. So I'm going to use a typeface called Goma Octagon. I'll leave a link in the description as per usual. Let's just type out our own version of Space Invaders. Let's make it Vector Invaders. Let's just select all that and make it a little tighter. And let's just centralize that text. Now what we need to do is put a, a perspective effect on, on it. The next thing we need to do is go path, object to path. And then we're going to go back into path again and come down to path effects, which is already open on my screen. Uh, and we are going to uh, click on the plus symbol there. And we want perspective envelope. I'm not going to change any of the settings here, it's, it's, it's set to perspective. Uh, I'm just going to leave all that as is because we're going to manually change some of this stuff. So I'm just going to go over to the nodes tool and that will just give us these handles that we can manipulate the text with. But I want to make sure that we get the text roughly as accurate as we, as we can. As roughly as accurate, you know what I mean. Uh, I want to get it something like, so I'm going to drag down a, uh, a guide. I'm just going to drop that somewhere there maybe not quite as low as that something like that and then i'm going to bring another guide in from this side I'm just go to the end of the first letter and then the end of the last one and then i just want to bring that handle onto that little section there and do the same on this side See if we can get that bit more accurate. That's it. And then just uh, click off and pack those guides away. And on to the next bit. Now, looking at the um, the original logo. The section at the back is all black and there's another section in red and then the top lettering is in yellow but with a black stroke so let's just go ahead and, and duplicate that we go Control d and then we're going to move that up one let's just turn snapping off for a second so we're going to make that guy red and then we're going to go Control d again on that one and move that up a little bit more and go yellow on that one and then i'm just going to Click off and just try and pick up all these and just try and align them. If I just align with the right hand side, actually, it's center align them. That's it. And then maybe bring them down just a touch. I'm going to hold control on the second one, just bring it down a touch. About there. Same again on the yellow. Hold down control, just drag it straight down. And then we're going to add to the top one. A stroke. Let's go stroke style. Let's go one millimeter. Let's see what that looks like. It's not bad. Let's go 0.5. That's even better. So I've just looked at the uh, the one we just created, and I've, I figured it was laid down a little bit too much. So I've just gone over it again and um, created a new one that's a bit more, uh, not not as extremely uh, altered. So I'm going to just move this one out of the way. And we're going to go on to make a little space invader like they are on the uh, on the game, just to give it a bit more authenticity. So to create our little space invader, it's actually really easy. We're just going to hold down Control, grab the uh, shapes tool on the on square, and we're just going to drag out a square. And let's just make sure that the stroke is turned off for that one. And now it's just a case of in Control D. And we're going to have a bit of fun and make up a uh, space invader. Let's just turn snapping back on so they're all in the right place. That's it. Yeah, just a case of Control D and tiling out the image.
Okay, so once you've got a, a alien design, um, it's just a matter of unifying ooh, unifying the whole thing. Just drag over that. Path union. And then we can go back into stroke paint. Stroke style. Let's make that three actually. And then we can shrink that down. Let's make it around 1.5. Depends how small I'm going to go. Yeah, something like that. And then we can just let's put him up here actually and make him red. And we drop him to the back a little bit. Something like that. Yes, yeah, so, uh, the perspective um, envelope. You can have all sorts of fun. You just got to remember to get the, the text how you want it first before you start making um, alterations. Because once you've done it, you you need to make it a path to modify it. And once you've made it a path, it makes it difficult to do much else with it. So uh, yeah, it's fairly straightforward. It's a nice, quick, easy uh, video. Hope you've uh, got something out of it. If you have, hit the like button or uh, maybe even consider subscribing if you haven't already. Uh, my name's Dan. This has been Petrol Vectors doing Vector Invaders. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.